G'day, I'm Phil. And I'm Kathy. And welcome to our channel. Today we're doing a follow-up video on the food we took on the Lara Printer Trail. We'll let you know what worked, what didn't, and what we might change. In a previous video, before we went on the trail, we actually filmed all the food we were taking on the floor of our lounge room. We had a spreadsheet to show me what I needed to put into those piles, and that's how we followed our food plan while we're away. All right, we started our day with our muesli, which we have some videos out, and we'll make sure that their links are in the description. We really enjoyed our muesli milk. Uh, we also put the cheer in it, and as explained in the video, we had originally the this MCT powder, but obviously it has maldextrin in it, so um, we're now going to be experimenting with this one. Drink-wise, uh, I didn't want to take my um, percolator things like that because of weight so I've got the uh, coffee bags uh, yeah never again as to our electrolytes our fasting electrolyte uh, zero carb zero calories we'll put the uh, details of each of the uh, electrolytes in the description below we get this one from New Zealand really good we use it at home uh, whenever we're fasting this is one we use it's a winner and on the trail we um, had got these little tiny bottles which we uh, obviously hasn't got this brand in it anymore. We top it up and use it and they can stay in our little pockets on our bags so we very well. two of these in each of our bags which is the uh, this decanted. And it's at two and a half mils per litre. It goes a long way. Uh, sis, it's another good one. Uh, it does have um, 0.8 of a carb. Just to break up so you're not drinking the same same stuff. That was a good winner. Our favourite though is Restore. Unfortunately a little bit higher carb because it has a coconut water in it. On the trail we bagged up uh, little bags with a number of cis, the cis tablets in there and also we pre-measured out the Restores. Uh, we tried to mix the flavours up each day because they are very delicious. Peanut butter. Where have you had it with your seed mix? like Kathy did, or I just have it straight. Um, we bought these, Mavers. They come in little tubs. The rubbish, we have to carry our rubbish out. The one is yeah, robust. Yeah, they're not as, not as good. And they're quite dry, so we found that they were really hard to eat on their own without extra oil, so. That's a never again. We're not doing that again. A couple of years ago, we actually found the Pix one, and this is this is our go-to choice for peanut butter. It is light, waste is very minimal, and it is so yummy. So that's mm. a winner. Yep, not dry, and I would only allow myself half a packet each day, so I was able to squeeze out half and then put a clip on it and use the next half. So it was wonderful to do that as well. We will show you the fact that we actually made some parmesan cheese crisps and I'll be making a video on that later for snacks and we also put together some nut mixes, our, also our seed mixes. And your dehydrated salami. Salami chips. Prior to being keto we snacked, we ate from the moment we got up to the moment <laughs> we got to bed, uh, constantly grazing. Being on keto, we only eat within a window and we usually did that when we stopped. So snacks weren't a thing Snack. for us. Snacks, they were just something tasty to have. Just like breakfast, we don't eat breakfast, but it was just a different flavor in your mouth when you had your meal window. Now we also took stock cubes as an extra electrolyte boost. However, by the end, uh, I actually- The weather changed. With, and I ended up with some sodium poisoning. And so I don't know if you noticed at the end of the Larapina trail videos, I'm a, a bit puffy. I had severe water retention. That obviously we only took that because it was very hot to start our trail, but I think we would just take normal salt and be very careful and not do that again. Bone broth. We also took a packet of bone broth. They weren't that tasty. Uh, we actually mixed it with our stock cube. Stock cube to get some taste to it. <laughs> so we ended up with massive salt intake. Yeah, we won't do that again. We also took our green powder. We had enough nutrients and vegetables in our. Uh, dehydrated meals so we probably would skip the green powder and the bone broth for future through hikes all right when it came to lunch um, we'll post up a picture of our tortillas 
uh, which I'll be making also for you. Now what we would do is rehydrate um, our own taco mince. We'll put together our recipe for that too. And we would eat that on the tortilla. We also did cheese crisps and we also sometimes added kidney beans. That was a winner. We have that regularly at home. With, with dehydrating, you've actually got to uh, put more flavour in because when it dehydrates, it does lose some flavour. So This is extra spicy to start with, so it ends up being perfect on the trail. We will go through all the meals that worked and Kathy will make uh, videos on them. We put hemp seed with them. On the side. On we the took side. It separately and added it to each meal. It did spoil the meal. It did. We prefer to actually have collie rice, uh, broccoli rice, rather than hemp, unless the hemp is actually in the meal itself, but. Don't know if you can see that. This actually has green bits in it, because this one's very much full of broccoli rice. <laughs> but yeah, the, the hemp seed, unless it's part of the recipe, that won't be coming to Separately. any future hikes. However, I do have some good recipes that I'm keen to try that actually has a slow cooked meal with the hemp seed in it, which will add the flavor back into it, which we look forward to. The only, there's only one that didn't work, and that was the slow cooked lemon. It just was bland after it was dehydrated and reconstituted, so we wouldn't do that again on trail. As to all the others, um, they were winners. That's just correct. make them with um, collie rice and broccoli rice and we will do them again. We will. So these are a few samples. This one is maple. Uh, the maple stew. Uh, we have our satay chicken. We that, absolutely love our satay chicken. That was a lunch uh, size, so don't be scared of the fact that that's too small. And these were all one, the, the taco mince was always two person and the others would say satay, or oh, satay Kathy, small one. However, this one was a slow cooked curry and it has a fill on it, so it was a nice bigger packet. Water is an issue, so we didn't want to do dishes. And so these are all made individual size, so we just ate out of the packet. Other meals that we haven't got here to show you that worked, we made a lasagna uh, using uh, zucchini as shredded into it, and so it was kind of well, I'll show you the recipe, but it was quite surprisingly nice. And the last one we tried was a Thai green curry. That that was probably one of our favourites. Mm. That was really yummy. That dehydrate, re dehydrated and rehydrated very well. So stay tuned. Following videos, we'll be uh, starting with our snacks, and then we'll move on to lunches, and then we'll go through all the meals, how we made them and prepared them. If you have any questions regarding the breakfast and the electrolytes and a few things that we won't be going on to cook, feel free to please put them in the comments below. If you like what you've seen today, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. And we thank you for coming along with us today and hope you've learned something. So see you next time. Gotcha.